Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Geometry class. Today we're going to be talking about congruent supplements and complements. And we're going to start out right off. Um, congruent supplement theorem, one, states that if angles are supplementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. When we're thinking of theorems, guys, try to put things into numbers. Okay, it's going to help you out a whole bunch. So, for example, here we have angle one, angle A, and angle two. If I'm telling you that angle 1 and A are supplementary and angle 2 and A are supplementary, well, that means that angle 1 has to be 150 degrees and angle 2 has to be 150 degrees, thereby making angle 1 and 2 congruent. Okay? Does that make sense? Awesome. Good job. You guys are quick. Good job. Okay. Let us continue here. Congruent supplements theorem number 2. This bad boy states that if angles are supplementary to congruent angles, then they are congruent. For example, consider the four angles below. You have angle 3, angle A, angle B, and angle 4. Angle A and angle B are congruent. Angle 3 is supplementary to angle A. Angle 4 is supplementary to angle B. So therefore, we know that angle 3 has to be 120 degrees. We know that angle 4 has to be 120 degrees. Thereby, we can conclude, since angle 3 and 4 are both 120 degrees, that angle 3 and angle 4 are congruent. On the same token, congruent complements theorem. Congruent complements simply state that if angles are complementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. For example, angle 1 here is 20 degrees. But they tell you that angle 1 and E are complementary and angle 1 and F are complementary. Use numbers, guys, until you really start to understand this. If angle 1 and E are complementary, that means that angle E is 70 degrees. If angle 1 and F are complementary, that means that angle F is 70 degrees. So therefore, we can easily conclude that angle E is congruent to angle F. On the same token, the congruence complement theorem number two. That states that if angles are complementary to congruent angles, then they are congruent. Consider the following four angles. I have angle three, which is 10 degrees, angle R, angle S, and angle four, which is 10 degrees. As you can easily see, angle three and angle four are congruent because they're both 10 degrees. Angle three is complementary to R, so that means R has to be 100 I'm sorry, uh, 80 degrees. We're talking about complements. And angle 4 is complementary to angle S. So that means that S has to be 80 degrees as well. So if two angles are complementary to congruent angles, that means that those two particular angles will also be congruent. So we can conclude that angle R is congruent to angle S. Okay, you guys are flying today. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. All right. So sample 1. We have here a given diagram shown, so let's see what we can figure out. Okay, as always, we're going to start with our given. Diagram is shown, given. From here, we can easily tell, my brothers, that angle ACD is a straight angle. Assume from the diagram. We can assume straight lines. If we know that angle ACD is a straight angle, then that means that angle 1 and 2 are supplementary. Okay? Why? That's just simply the definition of supplementary angles. Two angles that form a straight line are supplementary. The other line that we're dealing with here is angle BCE. That is also a straight angle. And we can tell from there that, and that's um, assumed from the diagram, of course, and we can tell from there that angle 2 is supplementary to angle 3. Definition of supplementary angles. So if you notice here, guys, the shared angle here is angle 2. Okay? Angle 1 is supplementary to angle 2. Angle 2 is supplementary to angle 3. So therefore, we can conclude and prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Why? Because if angles are supplementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. The shortcut that I can accept for this are subs of the same angle are congruent. Please don't go by theorem numbers, guys because different books have different theorems, okay? So you can't ever just say theorem, congruent angle theorem 1. 
No, you, you're not going to be able to do that, please. So please be cognizant of that. Okay, next. EB is perpendicular to BA. You know me, I'm drawing happy, so I'm going to go EB is perpendicular to BA. That's 90. B, DB is perpendicular to BC. That's 90 as well. They want to prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Well, right off the bat, let's start with our givens, which is that EB is perpendicular to AB, and DB is perpendicular to BC. That's given. Now, if we know that EB is perpendicular to AB, what do we know about angle 1 and 2 here, guys? Yes, sir. No. Perpendicular is not 180. What did you say? I'm sorry. I thought you said it was 180. My bad, my brother. Okay, well, first of all, let's first define, okay, that DBC and EBA are right angles. Because just because they're perpendicular, that doesn't give us enough. We need to prove that they're right angles. Okay? How do we know that? That's just definition of perpendicular lines. Now, number three. Now that we know that DBC and EBA are right angles, what, which angles form DBC and EBA? Which angles form EBA here, guys? What numbered angles here form EBA? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Angle one and two are complementary angles then because they form a 90 degree or a right angle. How do we know that? That's just definition of complementary angles. Now, on the other side of the coin, which two numbered angles form angle DBC? Yes, sir. So what do we know about 2 and 3? No, they're not congruent. They're complementary. Congruent with me that they're equal, my brother. Angle 2 and 3 here are complementary. Why? Definition of complementary angles. So now, similar to our first example, the shared angle here is 2. So angle 1 is, is supplementary to 2, and angle 3 is supplementary to 2. So what will we know about angle 1 and 3? They must be congruent. Why? Because if angles are complementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. We can also shorten this up and say comps of the same angle are congruent. So again, we're starting to get into a little bit more complex proofs now. We're using a multitude of different theorems and definitions now. We use definition of perpendicular lines to prove that it was a right angle. We used definition of complementary angles. And then we used complements of the same angle are congruent. Yes, sir. OK. You can't say that they equal 90. You have to say that they equal right angle. Then from a right angle, you could say that they equal 90. That would be an extra step. But thank you. Your, your thought process is amazing. Thank you so much. So that makes sense, my brothers. May I continue? Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Given angle 1 is supplementary to angle 2, angle 3 is supplementary to angle 4, but angle 2 and 3... Well, yeah, angle 2 and 3 are, are um, congruent. So what does that mean about angle 1 and 4? They must be congruent. Let's prove it, though. I'm, I'm very proud of you guys. So my first step, of course, angle 1 is supplementary to angle 2. That's given. Okay? My second step, angle 3 is, is supplementary to angle 4 because that's given. Okay. Now, what do you think step three would be? Just for giggles. Yes, sir. Angle two is congruent to angle three. Very good. Given. Very easy proof in this case. So if angle two is congruent to angle three, and we know that angle one and four are supplementary to two congruent angles, what do we know about angle one and four here? They're congruent. Why? Not subs of the same angle, but subs of 
congruent angles are congruent. Supple if angles are supplementary to congruent angles, then they are congruent. So the shorthand version of this is subs of congruent angles are congruent. Does that make sense? And more importantly, do you see the difference between the two, two theorems here, my brothers? All righty. And bada beam, bada boom, we're done. Thank you very much, and I hope you learned a lot. Have a great day.